Hello my friends, it's Krebsy here, and we're playing some War Thunder Historical Battles. It is late, late night. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning here. Oh my gosh, after a, a long working week, finally Krebsy is spending his late night rather than sleeping, playing War Thunder and making videos for you guys. Great, great, great job Krebs. Keep up the good work. <laughs> uh, right, so just before we get started here, I'm going to be playing some events for you guys, the Guardian Angel event. But before we get started, I need to quickly do an explanation of why something that happened not long ago. <laughs> Earlier today, I uploaded uh, my first impressions of the Guardian Angel, and I called the video the most boring event. And it was for a good reason. It's because in the video itself, what happened was it really was a boring game. And it was my first ever game of this event as well. Basically what happened was after all the main fighting got out of the way with, it was like 7 for 1, the last enemy fighter, and the last few actually, were running away to like some obscure corners and were hiding in the clouds. and could not see them, the game downtime was huge, a very long time, it was like 15 minutes of downtime, just nothing going on, couldn't even attack ground forces because there aren't any, and it was just like, you know, our AI bombers weren't bombing or anything, it was like, oh, well, why, why am I just flying around like a sandbox, this is quite boring, nothing's going on, uh, and that's why I called it the most boring event, lo and behold, loads of people totally did not watch the video and misinterpreted it, uh, they were like, Krebs, you're an arcade scrub, go back to arcade, you're a noob. Uh, why? Uh, oh, here was the top comment. Top comment had like 56 likes, and it went along the lines of like, Oh, if, if, why are you playing historical battles when you can't even handle being in a match for 20 minutes? What? Do you, do you not get the point of the video? The, vi the video, I don't care about going into matches for 20, 30, 40, whatever the minute's length is, but... If, you have, if there's literally just a continuous downtime for 15-20 minutes, what's the fun in that? I mean, there's no fun in that. Nobody enjoys that. It's, uh, definitely nobody enjoyed it because people on our team were quitting after, after a certain time because nobody could find this one target until the very end. So it's it's like nobody enjoys that. I don't I don't get why trolls are liking or posting comments like that and then people are liking comments like that. It's like, watch the video, please. You're, you're, you're making an argument on false assumptions. So, anyway. Uh, what happened in that time, between then and now, I played uh, the Guardian Angel a number of times more, and it, it turned out that it was just fun. It was, it was great fun. It wasn't like that first initial game at all. You know, no one hiding obscure in obscure corners. Uh, it was continuous action. That's the st sort of stuff that I like. That's why I prefer arcade battles over historic because arcade, there's just more stuff going on rather than historic. You know, historic, you have to take off and stuff. And plus, I feel like historic is more of a game of checkers rather than a game of chess. Yes, that's what I just said. I feel like historic is more of a game of checkers. And I'll explain it to you in just a moment when we start getting out into a battle um, why I think it's a game of checkers. Okay, so, right, we're playing with the Americans, and we're gonna go out with the P-51D-20NA. Yeah, so here we go. Arcade battle, nope, event, Guardian Angel, and away we go. Lots more Americans than Germans. Earlier today, it was lots more Germans than Americans, but people realized, for some reason, Americans win majority of the time. Um, and so everyone's playing Americans now. And uh, I made a mistake in the last video. I said that the Mustang has a rate of climb of 24 meters per second. That's an arcade. It's meant to be, uh, it's actually 18 meters per second in historic battles. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's not going to be the top climber out of all of the planes out there. However, it's got amazing diving potential. Awesome speed. Uh, very good at handling with G-forces as well. You can get up to sometimes like 14, 15, 16, I think I've seen sometimes, G-forces. <coughs> Jeez. And still manage to survive it. So overall, it's a good plane. Um, right, so why is Historic Battle a game of checkers? To me, it's because in Arcade Battle, you can 
I feel like whenever there's a plane on me, I can lose them. Whereas in Historic Battle, I don't think that's really the case. Unless you've gotten a strength to play at like turn time, speed, so you can get away from somebody, st stuff like that. But if you're not, if you don't have that, say if you got a stock plane, or you're out of position, something like that, and the opponent is behind you, then you know it's GG, you're pretty much dead. And that's why I feel like it's a game of checkers. You get into the wrong spot, out of situation, just like in checkers, and there you go, you're dead. Um, so, y yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's historic battles. Doesn't mean I don't like historic battles. I mean, if you go to my stats, I've got just about th almost 300 missions. Uh, and it, like in the last month, I've got almost 2 to 1 in historic battles. So it's not like I'm a bad player at all. I mean, I'm quite familiar with the historic battle scene, and also doing well in it. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is the Guardian Angel match. I suppose a lot of you must have played that by now, it's very fun actually. I'm gonna climb over to the side, so I can gain more altitude. As you can see, that's where the enemies spawn at their air point, so I'm gonna climb over to the side, to the left, because I think the enemies tend to uh, fly straight along the G row or to diagonally straight for us. I don't think they necessarily go along the C row where I am. So I'm just going to gain altitude and then I'm hopefully going to drop down on some people. But I don't want to be too late. I think there's a, a sweet spot in this. You don't want to be at the very front because you're going to die first, but you don't want to be the very last because then the high altitude BF 109s and Falker Wolves might come for you. So I think being in the middle is probably just about right where you should be. Alright, okay. So these are this is our team. A bunch of B-17s. That's all the enemies. Yeah, I think I've noticed a lot more American wins from my my playouts. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe it's because the Americans are we spawn at the same level as the Germans, maybe? I don't know. Oh no, p -well pants. This guy sort of annoyed me in the previous two games. Oh, Christ, I've been noticed. And uh, the reason why is because he came specifically for me. He didn't say anything that entire match until he killed me and then he said it was worth it. Now it kind of got on my nerves a little bit. Don't ruin your friendly YouTubers games. See, he's coming specifically for me. Look at this. Look at this. No. No. p -Well, I don't care. I'm not in the mood. I am going to come and kill you. If I can get my revenge on you, I will be satisfied and happy. Because last time, you killed me. Along with somebody else. You did both double team me. And that was very annoying. <laughs> you would not let me go. So I'm hoping I can do the same to you now, Mr. Pwow, if that's how you pronounce your name. I'm just gonna shoot around him, see if I can hit him. So he must have recognized me because he specifically came straight towards me. You seen it, didn't you? But he's speeding on away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And all the enemies are up there, so at least I've got a little bit of guys around here providing some protection. But if he doesn't die now, I wouldn't doubt it if we see this p -Well sometime soon. Oh, he got that B-17. Oh my god. Did you see that? Holy shit. <laughs> I think that midget guy just exploded. How did that happen? Did he just break his wings? Wow. That looked intense, dude. Oh my gosh, look at all the guys behind us. Yeah, that explosion looked pretty intense. That looked like a, an action movie. What's that be a fun nine doing? He's diving. I think one of the smarter things that this be a fun nine could do right now is to go back towards his teammates for help. Oh, shit! Come on, be a fun one nine. I want to or G10. Sorry, I want to kill him so bad. I really do. Critical on the elevators, that's important. 
But I don't think that's the end of him. I've seen people with elevators knocked out and historical battle come back to life mysteriously. Nobody behind me on my tail right now. I'm not gonna follow with that with that uh, spin because that can throw you off sometimes. They do that intentionally to try and get you off of them. Have a hard time shooting down at them. <sighs> Shit sake. <laughs> and there's a, there we go. There's another guy. I'm gonna have to focus on him because that other guy, the Piwow, is speeding away. And see, his elevators are gone, but he's still flying perfectly. Come on, Krebsy. Ow. That was almost ow. Turn, 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 turn. Oh. oh wow, it's so close. It's so close. No. No, I'm flipping upside down because of my rudder. Come on, Krebsy. Leave these shots. I have faith in you, Krebsy. <laughs> I'm missing so many shots here. Gonna waste so much ammo. I've only got 481 bullets to go as well. Oh no. This is really bad. I need to get closer or something here. No! No, that was meant to be my kill! I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get the PVO. Oh! -ho! That was a major kill steal. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. That's that's just what happens. That Piwa was still isn't down. You take out a guy's elevators. You think that's it? An arcade elevators that's it. That's they're they're dead. Or else they'll just be continuously going upwards. Uh, but this Piwow, you take out his elevators and he's still flying. I'm sort of wondering though, what is one supposed to do when they run out of ammunition on this map? Because the Germans, they can just go back to, uh, what do you call it? Back to their airbase. But what about the Americans? What can they do? There's probably not much that they can do. <sighs> God, to go for these guys. No, you know what? I want re sweet revenge. Because I know we're not going to be able to... Uh... Oh, God's sake. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Pull down that throttle. Woo! <laughs> oh, what are we doing here? We're having a bit of a tango now, aren't we? Well, I guess I have to sort of go for them, don't, don't I? One shot. No. 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 No! Ooh. Gotta be so aware. The everything around you. Look at that guy go. I think he must be badly criticaled. Because he looks like he's totally out of control. P. Well Pants. P. Well Pants. I really want to kill him. You guys don't understand how much I want to kill him. Whoa! There we go. A head on. It's a crash. Are we going to get the kill when he crashes? That P.Well Pants should definitely be dead, though. I mean... Okay, we didn't get any kills there. We, it was a head-on collision. I guess that's the best we could have done. We were very low on ammo at that point. I think a few hundred rounds left. <clears throat> I wish that P.Well Pants died. We took out his elevators. That should have been enough. But it looks like a number of our guys are still going here. Maybe we'll still get that second kill depending on how things go. Maybe that P.O.L. Pants eventually will crash or something. Who knows? No idea. But anyway, we're going to hop out of this one. 
gonna hop out of this one and we're gonna jump out into a German one. A German game. And what plane should we go out with? I think I'm gonna go out with the the BF109 G2. And the reason why is because it's probably one of the better ones when it comes to climb rate. I don't think the Falker Wolves can actually match up with the BF109 G2. Like if you look at these ones over here, 14.1, this is 23.1. You know, that's huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Um, whether it has the same diving potential is another question. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I feel like the Falker Wolves might have a better diving potential. But anyway, we're gonna go out with the BF109 G2 over here. Plenty of ammo to spare. Both cannons and also MGs. But most importantly, what's the highlighting factor for me is that climb rate. That's that's the important part. Because I want to get above people. Okay, so we're defending uh, our homeland. Our factory, whatever it is. <laughs> we're attacking the enemies. And I'm not going to focus on the bombers right now. I, I can't be bothered doing that. I feel like the uh, fighters are a bigger threat, if anything. So there's some three AC guys in here. Never seen them before. Nothing I have to be worried of, it looks like. HB Hanor. I think the HB guys like to play historical battles. Hey again, Krebs. Oh no. No. People have recognized me. See, this is the thing. Everyone's playing this new event and a lot of people recognize me. Sometimes I guess it could be a good thing, but a lot of times it can be a bad thing. And I feel like it's more of a problem in historical battles. Well, maybe maybe just events, if anything. Events. Not necessarily general historical battles, just events. Okay, so where are we going on the map right now? We're flying near enough generally towards the enemy. So let's start flying off in that direction over there. Where the rest of our team is going. Or else I'm literally going to be one of the first people to get in on the action. And, uh... I, I, I guess, you know, it's one of the ballsy things to do, to be the first one in the head-on. And to lead the charge, but... You know what happens, you've watched those movies like Patri The Patriot and whatever war movies, Saving Private Ryan. The first guys that engage in engagement are probably the ones that are going to die first. They're probably not going to come back alive. So that's exactly my initial thinking here. Going to fly off to the side. As are what looks to be many people as well. A number of guys are going straight on. A number of us aren't. Okay, so I should be going at a slighter angle than this. So that I have about 270 kilometers an hour. Learned that a long time ago. A few of you were reminding me of that in the last video, but learned that a long time ago. 270 kilometers an hour is about the range you should be getting for the best rate of climb, I think. Okay, lots of guys over here. I'm not going to bother the B-17s. Really not... I, d I don't care about them. I, I, the, the threats are the fighter planes right now. That is the main threats. Rape ape. Hmm. So he's in P-51. There's another P-51 coming over this way. And I think this guy, rape ape, is going to be the first one closer to me. Is he, or is it going to be this guy over here? I'll tell you what. I think we might just... Ooh, the targets are changing really so fast. And now there's that P-51 over there. I think I'm going to go for this P-47D. They're going on in the head-on. Come on, Krebsy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! First kill! First kill for Krebsy this round. Uh, look behind me. Any enemies? Yeah, there's that P 51, so let's start turning, turning, turning. Shit! Shit, 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 shit. Seen him on my radar. No. 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 No! What? 
What the hell was that? Am I being trolled? My my teammate actually just tore me up to pieces. I don't know if that was in that looked really intentional to me. That looked like so goddamn intentional. That was unbelievable. Oh my dear. So you guys... <laughs> I know, I planned on it. Lucky I was recording this and uploading... Wait, hold on, I need to say this. Lucky I was recording this and uploading it on my channel. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he killed me on purpose. What's his name? What's his name? Let's get a... Uh, it's Emperor Visor. Emperor Visor. This guy right here. Yeah, he was the first one. He was. He killed me. What does he start? What? He says, don't give me that bullshit. <laughs> I'm actually recording right now. Live commentary. Thanks, douche. <laughs> yeah. Douchebag. What's your problem? Hold on. I need to find out. He's got some sort of vendetta. Good for you. What's your problem? So I'll get a moderator to look at this. Ban? No. Who cares? <laughs> Lol. Well, okay, I have no idea what to say. Wow, talk about absolute trolls. <laughs> I think they're killing other teammates as well. One shot me intentionally, already reported. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> troll. Learn to play. Learn to play. Got no skill. Yeah. Out of here. Out of here.